Welcome back, everyone. Do you remember when your mother would try to make you eat squash as a kid? Well, this seasonal vegetable does not have to be boring or tasteless. Our food reporter says there are plenty of options beyond pumpkin and acorn. And as he reports in his Saturday Night Sampler, you can expect to find some exotic-sounding names on a few local menus. Here's ABC7 Steve Delinsky. For most chefs, the path to successful squash is high heat roasting, which always renders that firm flesh soft and pliable. At Market House, inside the Doubletree Hotel in Streeterville, Chef Scott Walton loves to work with squash this time of year, and it's rarely something predictable, from tiny sweet lightning squash to heirloom varieties of butternut or even the enormous red curry variety, spelled K-U-R-I, which is used in a dish of autumn risotto. It's a nice balance. It's mild. It, it keeps its texture, so we use it a couple different ways in the dish. Both butternut and red curry are roasted and blended with vegetable stock, then used as a thickener in the risotto. Separately, tiny balls of raw red curry are poached and sautéed along with chanterelle mushrooms and lobster. That sauté is then added to the risotto near the end of cooking, resulting in a seasonal one-two punch. And that's actually what we use in the dish to finish it. Rather than some people using cream or butter to finish it to smooth out the risotto, we use, actually use the squash puree. In River North, the menu at Sushi Samba Rio leans heavily toward Japan and South America. Gyoza, or dumplings, are stuffed with fatty Wagyu beef, but are balanced by a puree of kabocha squash. We use Kobe, or uh, Wagyu beef, and the gyoza. The squash actually cuts some of the fat that coats your tongue, so that's the purpose of serving the kabocha with it. Gidri roasts the kabocha until it's fork tender. He then adds the flesh to a blender along with sugar, salt, and butter, eventually plating the individual gyoza over tiny pools of the pureed squash. In this case, the vegetable serves more as an accent than anything else. Kabocha has a stronger flavor, but still sweet. And actually when we puree it, it kind of lightens up, gets a little fluffy. So squash is a lot more versatile than you might think, from the red curry used in that risotto to the kabocha used as a little bit of a foil here underneath the gyoza to eventually a cheesecake here at Sushi Samba. Lots more options than just soup this time of year. In River North, Steve Delinsky, ABC7 News. Great stuff. And Steve says that uh, cheesecake is now on the menu at Sushi Samba. And for more information about some of these places using squash in very unique ways, just go to our website, abc7chicago.com. Go to the lower left-hand side down there. You'll see the Hungry Hound tab. And that links you to all of Steve's stories or videos. Or just call the info line, 312-750-7096.